good guys driving away in a small truck from the villain in a bigger truck. Yeah, real original. We sure didn't see that in Judgment Day. What the bad crouching tiger hidden wire kind of trick was that? At least in the referenced movie, it was a specific style. Here, it was just a bad execution like the CGI sword fight in Blade 2. Oh, look, he is a combination of the Terminatrix and John Connor from Rise of the Machines and Genesis. Yep, it's official. The Terminator series is licking toilets clean for sustenance. Holy shit, speaking of bad CGI, this Terminator looks like Skynet had to downgrade production so not to close down factories and merged with Rubbermaid. Oh, so she is definitively a Terminator? What model is she? The LGBT-1000? This guy has the stature and menace of a box of puppies on a diet of chocolate. Mick fucking excuse you? So is this going to officially write off Terminators 3 through 5 as never happening? Are we supposed to pretend they were bad dreams only to wake up in a nightmare like EA took over the Smash Bros series? And poor Linda Hamilton, she looks so old I feel like they had to digitally remove the oxygen tank from the scenes. I get that this is called Gooseneck, but no matter who has it, they look like a fucking Brachiosaurus trying to graze. Who are you is so painfully unoriginal, yet oddly fitting, because the last time anyone saw Linda Hamilton in this series was 1991. There is an entire generation of people who have no clue who Sarah Connor is, so I feel bad for this movie needing this line in this trailer. Jesus Christ! how short is the girl in the back? Natalia Reyes, five foot one. All right, Mackenzie Davis, Five foot ten and a half? Fucking what? This isn't a nine and a half inch difference. Is Davis in heels? Nope, somebody must be standing on a phone book or a King James Bible. How does James Cameron have time for this movie when he's been whoring it up with four Avatar sequels calling him daddy for the last ten years? Guys, can we stop using Tim Miller as a defense here? Deadpool was just okay, and the only other directing credit worth a damn was one of the worst episodes in Love, Death, and Robots. Neat, the Malaysian flight makes an appearance. Could her hanging on a soundstage be any more obvious? So, she's the new John Connor now? Because she looks like the only thing she's ever used in self-defense was an iced mocha latte.